It's always a pleasure to have you here on this show, One on One, where we interview and put the focus on some of the prominent and influential persons we have here on campus. And for today, we have a very fine gentleman whom I'm sure you all be glad and happy to hear from. And we'll speak to him directly right after this break. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. I'm Juliet. We'll be right back. Welcome back. So as I said earlier, we have a very fine gentleman and I personally am so excited to, to, to have him here. To the person of <laughs> His Excellency Hagan Queen, our very own federal SRC president. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Yeah, Thank I'm you. so excited to have you here. I hope you're excited too. I'm very excited to be here with okay. you as well. Okay, so going right into the interview. Mm -hmm. yeah, sure. I want to find out some things, some personal things about you then related to you as a student. So first of all, can you like what tell us something small about you yourself yeah. personally? Okay, so I think I'll be brief with that. Okay. Um Queen O'Higan Kwabna Sophia Medical Student. Okay. I think that's all. Okay. Is that what you want to know? Oh yeah, that's something little. Okay. Sure. But I'll, I'll keep on asking. I'll ask the ones I want to know about. Sure. Okay, so going to the topic where I'm sure more, a lot of people want to know about. You were appointed. Exactly. Yes, to be the federal SRC president. So I'm sure they seeked permission from you. Were you prepared to take it, the, to be the president appointed? Okay, so with the way I was appointed, mm. um, no permission was sought from me. Wow. Virtually, let's say, no permission was sought for me a day before for... or anything. I just walked into a parliamentary setting which was meant for the dissolution of our parliament. That's the last administration's parliament. So you were a part of the... Yeah, I was part of the last administration's parliament as an arbitration committee chair because I was the then chaplaincy chairman for the university. Okay. So I went into a meeting and usually I would just spend an hour or two in the parliamentary setting but for that day i don't know why i just told my other colleagues that let's just wait for some time just to see who will be appointed so i think um the then src president and his team decided to appoint someone and the parliament agreed that we rather want people who will be nominated than we vote so three people's names came out okay. which my name wasn't part and one of my colleagues, I remember, so Reginald was nominated. It was like, oh, this looks too good to be true, but I don't want this. Okay. So I want Hagan to rather stand. Wow. And he decided to go like, I want to speak about Hagan. I was like, wow. And I think by then, Hansen, Honorable Hansen also spoke a little, and that was it. And personally, it, it, was, it was something. I think three people were finally brought forth, which I was part We just read some short form of manifesto um, i think the prime focus then was who could just um stand in a gap okay. wait for the various um courts issues, court's issues to so. end okay. and probably do a re-election so i went forth i think 27 people in all voted i had 20. Eesh. the other had four and three and wow. that was it so wow wow so you took it like cool uh, I, I, I didn't take a cool. Okay. I didn't take a cool at all. Why? It, it wasn't expected. It was a surprise. It was something I wasn't waiting for because since I entered this university from level 100, I've been active in the service. So my personal plan, according to my personal plan, mm -hmm. my sixth year was just supposed to be for my academic work. Mm -hmm, so exactly. I intentionally handed over every responsibility I had on campus from CASA to um, that's Christ Apostolic Students and Associates to SCB that the Student Christian Board Chairman that's the Chaplaincy Board mm -hmm. handed over everything and my last year was supposed to be for academic and more closer work with God that was it so it was something that honestly disrupted all my plans and yeah. everything but, but I just had to allow God's will 
to me. So. Okay. So okay, okay, that's good. So now you you are the federal SRT president. What is this like? Oh yeah, acting. Acting. You act for the work and thank you. Uh, <laughs> acting <laughs> federal SRT president. Okay, thanks for the correction. You are now the acting federal SRT president. What is it like being the president? Taking over mm -hmm. what was handed over, working things out. How is it going? Okay, I think. Personally, I think no leadership role is a glorious one as we all think. Mm. It comes with a lot of responsibilities and I can boldly tell you that the SRC work, it's enormous. Like, it comes with so many responsibilities mm. and being an acting federal SRC president, it's nothing, it's not something I dreamt of or prepared for. But by God's grace, I'm just managing and sailing through, so it's not easy, but uh, day by day, God keeps supplying us with the necessary strength to go through every day. So. Okay, so I'd like to know if you've had, you mentioned Casa being having some leadership roles. Apart from those ones, did you have any other leadership roles that maybe you say have prepared you for this time? Okay, so I think way back in Addis Ababa College, I decided to go in for the assistant um, voice perfect. Oh, so you went it's, to Addis Ababa College? Yeah, Addis Ababa College. Well, so. I like you guys. <laughs> ah, so, okay. I like the school. <laughs> Thank you very much, anyway. Yeah. So, I think way back, I wanted to go in for the assistant voice perfect. It's a, it's a boy school, so basically, mm. assistant voice perfect. And um, I didn't get a position eventually, so mm. the other position I went in for was the General Secretary for Apos and as Apostolic Students and Associations okay. um, Ghana. So eventually I was the General Secretary of Aposa in my final year in Addis Ababa College. Okay, so you got it. Yes, then straight away I moved to Legon. Legon, I think I held a position in Nessus Christian Fellowship as a financial secretary. In fact, I was the first ever financial secretary for Nessus Christian Fellowship. Okay. Yes, and um, from there, I don't okay, think wait. I... You went to Legon? For a year. Yes. Oh, okay. Then you came back. Yeah, I came here. So then the following year. I completed 2015. Went to Legon 2015. 2016, I came here. Oh, so, yeah. so, I think apart from that, that has been it. Then Casa, I've been there. Then Chaplinzi, uh, Vice Chairman to Main Chairman. And that has been it. Yeah. So, you would say that... Um, you, would you say you learned some... Surely, you learned some lessons from those previous times that are really helping you now. A lot. Yeah. A lot. And a lot of lessons. The whole university. A lot of lessons, especially with dealing with human beings. Like mm. you see the various I don't use the word various kinds, but that's the best I can mm. describe. Like you see people with different characters, different mindset. attitudes, different mindset, people who are not patient, people who want to utter any form of words to you, people who want to just say anything to you. It's like it's been an experience, mm. honestly speaking, like people who would want to disrespect you, but not as compared to SRC, you mm. know. I thought when I was serving in the church, uh, it was yeah. a bit strange, but when I got into SRC, I realized that what was strange there was it's kind of normal here, like yeah. someone can e equally get up, disrespect you openly without any reverence to who you are, nothing. Just say their mind, you can go and daydream, bring <laughs> A project up someone can just come up and say i disagree squash everything and the worst of it is that after the person tells you i disagree he or she wouldn't even come up with a better plan one. so it's like oh god after spending all my academic time and everything i'm mm. now going back again to wow. yeah. so talking about human relations sure. how are you uh, What's your relationship with your administration as well? You guys are like a group doing, working together. Yeah. How would you say your relationship is? Okay, so, so far so good. I think our relationship has been better. You are not finding any troubles, like... Uh, surely I understand there could be some misunderstandings, but yeah. basically you say things are... I good. think it's been better because uh, one of the things I keep reminding them of is our unity because mm. at this point in time, um, I know we have an acting SRC president with other three federal executives. They can only accept me as part of them. Mm. We accept each other and we see the way forward. And me stressing on unity, honestly speaking, from September to now, there has been a lot of growth in terms of unity. And 
when they have any form of um, disagreement, they are open to share it. So usually, uh, I would have to make sure that I'm um, trying to be more patient, listen more, and take my time in certain decisions I make. And usually, I would want to put myself at a side whereby I will compromise more. So if it's going to discomfort me, and it's going to make you better. I'll prefer it discomforts me so that you can just have your way. At least it's better it discomforting me. Wow. And so. That's nice. So my next question would be your plans for the school for you has. But before that, I realized that you seem to be a bit like um conserved, not um what did I say? Not so much out out there yet it's so I want to relate to you being the president, being the acting president, you have to speak to so many. You have to talk to big people, convince and interact. How is that going? Like, how are you able to do with it? So you can help those who are shy and those who think they can because this was unexpected, right? So yeah. Okay, so generally I think, um, I believe that once it's a responsibility, it has to be done. Mm. So as long as um, I'm supposed to go and do a negotiation on behalf of students and management, and I know it's my responsibility, it will surely be done. If I have to speak to students, probably freshers orientation, and it's my responsibility, it will surely be done. But I wouldn't want to get, engage myself in too many unnecessary things, jumping from here to there, shouting, screaming, and other, other things. I would have to usually, um, let me say, conserve my energy. So once it's a responsibility and it's not uh, quote I quote an unnecessary something, I'll, I'll find a way to do it irrespective of mm -hmm. how great it may be. Even if it means talking to the necessary stakeholders wow. beyond even the university to get what students want, and it's we we'll always find a better way to do it that wouldn't get people um, hurt as well. So. Okay, that's really nice. Encouragement to all of us, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so now moving on to the main theme. It's now, we've now ended the first semester of the academic year and you're still the acting president. So, we have the next academic, uh, in, we have the next semester, semester coming. Yeah. What are your plans? Okay, so, I think for this I'll be a bit conservative about it. Mm. Because, you know, initially the plan was that after the reorganization of the elections, we would have had the next president come and take up the um, for some time now, we've all been waiting for the next president until reality dawned on us uh, some few weeks ago that uh, the way things are going, eventually our students also deserve better. And we can't also give them the excuse of having waiting for the incumbent president. Uh, we're not doing anything. So we have some plans in place. And I'm sure by next semester, before the semester ends, to hear from us. We have some projects underway, still working out. Just like you stated, I'm a bit conservative and mm. I'm usually reserved and everything. I wouldn't <laughs> want to um, say something that we may not end up doing. But once the projects we have in the pipelines um, become a surety that it's going to be done, obviously our students are going to hear about it and they are truly going to benefit our students as well. So. I just want to encourage each and everyone to stay calm and expect more from us. Hopefully, um, it's going to get better. Okay. We are so expectant. I am expectant. Sure. We won't disappoint you. Yeah, all right. Um, so, I'd like to go a bit... Okay, no. You, even though students say they don't... Okay, no, let me say... Even though you have a good relationship with your administration, would, have you had any troubles? Like, so far, having to, you want to put something in place and you had trouble doing that. Let's see, in terms of, apart from the SRC, the council, the higher authorities, persons, have you had any troubles? Okay, so I think basically, um, I believe it's about the way we go about things. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there may be troubles, but eventually can be resolved. So, um, yes, one or two, but. It's not something that wasn't resolved at the end of the day. Mm. So usually, uh, maybe you have to do some level of negotiation and probably the percentage of the negotiation you are going in for, it's not favoring you. 
you still want to insist and in get it done at your own rate. I'm just trying to give you uh, something vague so that it doesn't point to anything mm, yeah, at all. Yeah, yes, yeah. Yeah. And I think so far so good. Even our relationship with management has been very good. They've been very supportive. Anytime we call upon them, um, they've been very supportive. And uh, it's, 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 it's been good. It's been okay. So. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah. So now that uh, we since you decided to give us just a short info about yourself, I will ask, like, I will ask what no you want problem. to know. Yeah. Every other thing you want to know about me, I'm willing to answer. So, uh, okay. Then I would like to know your hobbies. Hobbies? Uh, hobbies. That's a very difficult question because... No, say uh, hobbies and talents. Any hobbies and talents. I don't think I've discovered any talent yet. <laughs> yeah, I don't believe that. I don't believe uh, that. I don't like talent. Oh. Let's, let's just stick to hobbies, because okay. uh, for hobbies, I, I think, I don't know. Hobbies are things that you do when, uh, when yeah. your leisure period, right? Le leisure period. Leisure period. I, I prefer to listen to sermons, that's it. Listen Either listen to sermons or get a cool place and rest. That's all, not going out. I don't play football, I don't do any, any of those things. So, Either listening to music or listening to sermons, these two. And I think I'll put music first, then number two, seven hey, months. Yes, yes, yes. I'll put music first. <laughs> okay, okay um, then. Um, what else should I ask? Music first. So, yeah. do you sing? I don't sing. I love to sing to myself, but unfortunately, I'm not able to sing I would have made you to bad. people, for people, and before people. I'm not able to do that. So. Hmm, okay. So, basically, we are about ending today's interview with our excellence. We hope to have you again again and again so but then this will be the final thing any final words you have for us the students any goodbye like just say something or be shout out to anyone yeah, shout out. I, I don't think i have any shout out to anyone but oh give me a shout out to <laughs> okay <laughs> okay so let me see um shout out to all my friends out there my brothers out there my parents and everyone watching me shout out to you and um, i just want to encourage the students body out there to take their academic work very serious and exactly yes, uh, please can i say something now that you've mentioned academic mm -hmm. work you see you mentioned that you had plans for your academic work mm -hmm. this year and now um presidential staffs have come in how are you able to handle it and the fact that you're a medical student last level like last period how are you combining that well i think it's boils down to time management mm. yes and using the little time i have very well so at least i have certain plans in place at least as long as it depends on me i make sure there are certain classes and certain sessions i don't miss so for example if it's a tutorial it's a class if it's a word session try as much as possible not to yes. miss number two try as much as possible to participate and also make some notes because i may not have the time to go and read everything like my other colleagues may have the opportunity to do but i'm so sure that whatever we told us during the session in my perception that is what i've gotten to know that is virtually about 80 percent of what the lecturer wants from you during examination mm -hmm. especially during our vibes which are more tenacious. so as long as i have that on paper when i revise it's a bit better and more of sacrifices because sometimes during examination means for like two straight weeks you're not sleeping on your bed you're just <laughs> in fact during examination you really want to see me because it's something that i even don't like the way i see myself during examination mm. but you know you still need to make some good grades as well so because there are people obviously paying my fees and expecting more from me so exactly. i also need to meet that as well so generally time management and too many excesses uh, i've tried my best to cut so i don't watch movies i don't play football uh, when digestion is becoming too much i try and redraw so it's there are certain well. things that i'll have to sacrifice so i don't really have too much of a social life oh, as so other people have hanging out and other things yes maybe just one or two friends 
one or two brothers here and there I can just talk to that's that's basically it so oh, thank you so much so have you given your last way to it oh okay so my last way so I think I want the students out there to take the academic work very serious and if they have any grievances uh, those are always opened they can come in and talk to us at any time any of the federal executives any of the appointed SRC committee chairpersons, you can just talk to us. If you have any suggestions as well, our doors are open as well. So, and we'll always love to serve you and give you the best. Just know that we are here to serve you and give you the best in terms of anything we have to do for you. So, yes, that's all. And and finally, I think they should also take their spiritual life very serious. Oh yeah. Yes, they need to take their spiritual life very serious. Very serve God well. Serve God with all your heart. I love Jesus more. Yeah. And finally, make sure to subscribe. Tell them subscribe. Yes. And finally, <laughs> subscribe to the YouTube channel as yeah, well. That's US US Based TV. TV. And share the link as well. Yes. Thank you so much. And like the videos. Thank you. <laughs> so this has been one on one session with our very own acting federal president, His Excellency Hagan Queen. Thank you so much for your time with us. Welcome. We are expecting to have more and more with you. Like sure, always available. Okay. Bye-bye. See you next time.